Lime Rock, Grid Life. We're gonna blow the tires off a drift car in this episode. We're gonna race our face off in the Rush SRs. And I got a teammate this round, dude. Horsberg. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, so uh, comment below who you think is gonna be fastest in this episode. We're, we're just for fun, like obviously we're battling each other. So you know this... we're gonna try, but yeah, you got, you got a little more seat time than I do. I have way more seat time than him. Three races is a lot. Let's go. We are running it. Welcome. Uh, so yeah, we did two practice sessions in the rush. Uh, picked up a second on the second practice session, which is awesome. Uh, and then yeah, so basically we are on to drift now. So you guys just seen, dude, I'm sorry, vlog. There's so much going on. You guys just seen some of my practice laps. So Lime Rock, brand new track, just getting familiar with it. And I'm in the 58s. Sheldon's running a 57 to give me a target to aim for. Chris is doing really well. We finally had a session where we stuck together. So with that being said, I'm about to hop in this GR86 and burn some accelerator tires for my boys at Tire Streets. Let's go do Lime Rock in a drift car. are down to a tenth apart in our data. Just went over some stuff with Blair. Thanks to Blair for showing us around on the actual squiggle lines, right? So we know where to find some speed. From here, we are on to qualifying. And what that means is, wherever we qualify, we start in the race position. So we need to push in qualifying. I need to find some clean air, get some good laps, and have fun. So let's go, qualify, day one. Grid Life Circuit Legends is all about celebrating automotive and tuning culture from the 1980s to now, but it's also about showing the future of grassroots and amateur racing in one of the such series. It's Grid Life's Rush SR Series, a new championship formulated at the tail end of last year and for the first time. Eight, you're nine. Dude, dude, you sick. guys are all right there. Sick. Oh, have a sick. Fuck yeah. Man, yeah. My worst fear has happened. <laughs> <laughs> On the first quali, Chris has out qualified me. I'm like a 10. A 10. Maybe a 10. So Maybe I gotta I gotta commit. So we're gonna move into the race number one after this. Actually, he's like six hundreds. He's a six hundredth of a tenth faster than me. I better I better run that full board. <laughs>
That was for sure my best drift laps with Amari right there. Yeah. I hope you guys seen that. Third gear, roasting those tires. Woo! Now we're on to race one. Uh, quick update. You know, I, I was underweight, so I got a penalty, and I'm going to start at the back of the class. So if you guys have been watching my series, it seems like almost every time I'm learning this year, something happened. I got to start at the very back. I qualified ninth, and now none of that matters. Let's see if I can get back to ninth. That's nothing. It's an incredible car with lots of incredible drivers. The last time these cars raced was July 28th back at Road America, the National Park of Speed, the biggest track on our schedule. Now we're at the smallest. Grid Life's Rush SR Series takes to Lime Rock Park for the first time on the front straightaway, waiting for the green flag to fly. Nine rows of race cars getting ready to take the green at Grid Life Circuit Legends. Here we go, packed up, paired up, 18 cars deep. Green flag, we're racing in Rush SR at Grid Life Circuit Legends. outside here of the lone left-hander so you can get in there side by side and make it work the rush stick slots into second ahead of Ayrton Grimm Chris Forsberg gained a couple spots there in that 64 running for team rap scallion alongside drifting friend Nate Hamilton he got Chris into this car they did a test day a couple of weeks ago Chris is having the time of his life in this thing and right now inside the top 10 as they climb the uphill yeah, Jason Leach, or uh, sorry, Ryan Leach leads the first lap, the 56. The Rush Dig up to second. Grim third, Gamma right behind. Then Rob Radman and Oler in the number 74. And that'll be running in a multi-class format here next year. So there's even exciting things on the horizon as the Rush Dig puts in the fastest lap of the race. Leach, I was watching that battle between Oler and Sheldon Rosenbaum. That got a little exciting at the left-hander as Oler fought the marbles out there fresh off the drift session. It's a little sketchy offline, Greg. Junk out on, onto the track. You've just got to be ready for it. And here you can see going into Big Bend, uh, there's so many different lines you can take in. Right there, great example as the number 13 of JC Racing uh, was turning in right behind the set. Dude, uh, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think my SD card may have had a little mistake there, so maybe uh, the end card was lacking, but hopefully you guys got to see some of the live stream. So first race, uh, from my previous races, I was definitely understanding that I need to sprint, and I did just that. I went from what would have been dead last to 10th, and I caught Forsberg, who was in 9th. So basically, yeah, dude, I was jamming through maybe around 10 dudes. So yeah, first race, past 10 guys to catch Forsberg. I finished 10th, Forsberg finished 9th. So far, he's out-qualified me and finished one position better in a race result. So let's keep this thing going. And the tail end of Friday action from Grid Life Circuit Legends at Lime Rock Park. Welcome to the third iteration of Grid Life's event here up in Lakeville, Connecticut. Kyle Iyer joined by Greg Kramer for uh, Rush SR Race 2 here in just a moment's time. Green flag and racing in Rush SR at Lime Rock Park. We're underway. my eyes on Hamilton and Forsberg. Here they are, the Team Rap Scallion cars. Sunoco livery <laughs> machines, both drift co drivers from their past, but today they're racing, and here's Forsberg all over Nate Hamilton for nine. Yeah, he is giving it some serious welly here, and he's looking for a way through. And uh, great looking cars, aren't they? Uh, with that graphics package, and they are being driven exceptionally well. And you can see there where Hamilton just was better from the midpoint of Big Bend into the transition for the left-hander. 
and that's the thing you you know find yourself that little spot where you can gap them by a couple of the car lengths that'll pay big dividends but just that quick then Forsberg gets right back onto his six it's so much fun because while they don't necessarily have a ton of wheel-to-wheel -wheel road racing experience it, you know Nate Hamilton had none it still is uh, a learning experience for both of them and to, to watch drivers from a completely different sector of motorsports be able to do this so well this is what grid life is all about it's you know the inclusion of motorsports doesn't matter if it's drift de time attack you know side by side racing here between two drift buddies here comes forsberg down the inside to oh. hamilton crosses them over <laughs> oh, that was beautiful the inside to the outside in move uh, paid off big there and that hamilton just showed patience there didn't he he saw Forsberg make the move. He said, I'm just going to wait, and there he goes. That was unbelievable, and I don't think we're done just yet. No. Forsberg, he learned something there. You bet he did. You can break late, just maybe not that much. Not quite there. So, yep. Forsberg's the new guy to the car. Hamilton yeah. has an event under his belt. <laughs> well, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> From that drift session, bouncing doors with Forsberg, that was so fun. We are now about to jump into our first rush race on Saturday. I'm starting in the highest grid position I have ever started a rush race. We're seventh, baby. We broke into the two, six, eight. Oh, wait, I got all my timing wrong. 56.9 got me all the way up to seventh in qualifying, so I'm starting this first race in seventh. My goal will be to be very, very smooth and do not lose any positions. Like literally, if I start in seven and I finish in seven, I will be so happy. So let's go racing. Well, one pace lap of two is complete. The McLaren Artura, courtesy of Lime Rock Park, is leading our way around the course at the moment. And then we move to a row number four, and it's Nate Hamilton and Nick Billingsley. And Nick, part of, it's interesting, Hamilton, you know, part of the, uh, you know, shall we call it the uh, drift team that are giving it a go here. Nick Billingsley, one of the great family programs here. Yeah, that Nate Hamilton running with Team Rapscallion, like he did at Road America, joining that team, as you mentioned, Greg, with Sunoco this weekend as Chris Forsberg in the 64. He'll start right behind in ninth, but they are absolutely off the hook. Here we go. Grid Life Circuit Legends, Rush SR Race 3 at Lime Rock Park. Green flag, and we're underway at LRP. Big launch from the inside lane, and we're off and away. Yeah, and Ryan Leach tucked right in behind the stick, and Eric Grimm got swallowed up here because a big move around the outside from Gamma, as we talked about, and then that beautiful chrome blue car, the number five, all crossed up of Radman, also trying to get around him. Now, Eric able to fight back and hold Radman off. Yeah, big lunges from some of the Sunoco team, perhaps Galleon cars there into turn one. I think that was Nate Hamilton that made some contact, maybe with the 74 of Oler into the first corner. A little pushing and shoving, hip checking there, one through the dirt on the Paul Newman Street difference in your line. Nate Hamilton up to sixth place on the opening lap as well. He's moving forward in the Team Rapscallion car. In the background, Eric Grimm and Radman side by side with Nate Hamilton approaching from behind. Boy, and this time Radman's got position going into the uphill and Grimm just had to give it to him. 
And that's going to give uh, Hamilton a nice little run on Grimm as well because he was definitely offline. And Hamilton doesn't have a lot of traditional wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing experience. And, you know, some of that showed at Road America as he was just learning in real time. Yep. And he has taken to this like a fish to water, like I said about Grimm yesterday, just immediately in it. And here he is chasing Radman, or, uh, Grimm now for fifth place into turn one. And here comes Forsberg as well. The other team wraps Scallion car to the inside of Oler. Yeah, really pushing uh, some pressure there. Got the door shut on him. And I'll uh, tell you what, Gamma took a big look at Leach going down into Big Bend. I'm going to guess is that he knows his teammate Forsberg is coming up behind him. And you know there's inter-team rivalry going on there. Wow, Billingsley, what a move up the hill. Billingsley went to his inside and swung all the way out against the wall and had to drop the spot. But you're right, Forsberg is closing. He's pushing it hard. Margin up front between the Stig and Leach has expanded to two seconds. And uh, so right now, Leach is just uh, thinking of And here comes Radman in that four spot. Easy to pick out in that. It's my favorite. Probably my favorite graphic of any car here this week, and I love that chrome blue. That battle between Hamilton, Billingsley, and Forsberg, that's the one that's got my eye. And we saw it yesterday, Hamilton and Forsberg throwing Hail Marys at each other. <laughs> yeah, they, they were. You know, they, they are new to this Rush SR car, but they're not new to being close together on the racetrack. They, they've drifted with each other for years, uh, you know, at, the, at, at and over the limit of control. So just give them a different pen to in which with to draw and they're going to make the same drawings they'd always have and uh, with Forsberg closing in on Billingsley <laughs> the motivation's there to run down Nate Hamilton and I wonder in their minds how much do they have to sort of mentally adjust as they get to a turn not to pitch it you know what I mean uh, that's what they've done their whole lives and they seem to have adapted beautifully I mean they're running really competitive times you don't see the cars even sliding they you know they've certainly got the memo that in this type of racing, if you're sideways, you're slow, and uh, you've got to get it straightened out and get after it here. And uh, right now, that is an absolutely great battle, and Billingsley is not I'm guessing, oh, oh, big off, as I mentioned his name by Billingsley. Beautiful save. Yeah, that was a big moment, too. At the exit of the downhill, you're fully committed at the limited grip, and there's a, a, there's a rumble strip out there to kind of buffer you from the grass, but it's not very wide. It's easy to step over the limit there. And he'll drop that spot. Now, Net Hamilton and Forsberg, Team Rap Scallion, 6th and 7th. joined by Greg Kramer for our last Rush SR race of the day and boy it's been exciting. The yeah. Team Rap Scaling guys have been racing each other as hard as they've been racing anybody else and I think that's so much fun to watch Forsberg and Hamilton in a totally different context than they're used to. I mean let's talk about downforce a little. That's something that you know in a drift car applies in a very different way than it does in a sports racer this size. As the McLaren Artura shuts the lights off we get ready to go racing one final time in the Rush SR Series here at Grid Life Circuit Legend. This, I think, is the future of motorsport. Here we go. Side by side to the stripe. And green flag racing in Rush SR Race 4. And that's Leach on the outside in the white car in the stick. And Gamma getting a really good run. He did this in the first one. Somebody locking up big time Mick Pat. But look at Rapman in that blue chrome car just ramping the outside. And the Team Raps Galleon guys side by side right behind Ayrton Grimm. It's tight there as Hamilton and Forsberg fight. And one, one of the two got to the inside of Grimm. Forced him offline there at the left hand. Yeah, they have to give it up though as uh, Grimm was able to just get enough of the nose in front. That's the other thing, because they're so narrow, you can fit a lot more side-by-side -side than you can a full-size race car. The Team Rapscallion guys door to door. It's Hamilton leading, and Forsberg down the inside, crosses over, and he's... That's actually Hamilton that did that. Yep. And they switch spots just like that. Oh, and the Forsberg, huge rotation at the back, but hangs on. Trouble for Grimm, and he's just pulled uh, off to the right. Well, he's you know he'd been closing on Radman, and then he just suddenly started to lose a little bit of ground. I thought maybe he just had a little bobble somewhere, but that's big. White flag too, and that's unfortunate. Grimm needed one lap less, but Ayrton Grimm 
The mechanical problem at the top of the hill. He's pulled off to driver's right. That just leaves Stig, Leach, Gamma, Radman, and now Nate Hamilton into fifth place. Yeah, great run. Well, what a story that'll be for, uh, you know, one of those drift uh, legends to be able to pop up into the top five here and uh, really doing a nice job at this point. you got to be impressed with it. Down through the diving turn for the final time. Rush SR race four goes to the Rush Stig and Ryan Leach. And, well, the Stig pulls over. Ryan Leach will pull through and win the race. This is going to promote... Chris Forsberg into the top five. So Leach, Gamma, Bradman, Hamilton, Forsberg are going to be your top five here in Grid Life Rush SR. I think the math maths, we'll have to double check this, but I'm pretty sure Forsberg beat me on race one. I beat Forsberg on race two. Forsberg beat me on the race three, and then I beat him on race four. So I think it was a tie. Like we're equally balanced, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so to wrap up real quick, guys, I got fourth place in the race four. That was super cool. I learned how to commit to a few turns that I wasn't, found a lot of speed. And I think I seen a 58.6, I believe, uh, which JC could tell us. 58.6. 56.8. <laughs> yeah, so I think I grabbed the 10th off my best qualifying as well in that race. It was really cool, man. The top, you know, three guys were gone. You know, once I lost yeah. their draft, I lost it. But then I just maintained and my focus was literally do not let Forsberg pass me, <laughs> dude. And I was clicking five down that turn seven, which was gnarly, like gnarly commitment but uh if you want to win the race that's what you got to do so 144 car fourth place oh you just want a hell of a golf cart let's go dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah we got a word that uh t-pain wanted to check a rush car out so we're gonna try to be chill about it yeah we're being very chill I hey. to go next, dude. I told him don't you make it. Don't make a big deal. I don't, I don't need to, you know. I don't you know, want to do that. It's a quick look. It's not a big look. deal. It's only yeah. like six people in one car. Say goodbye to pain and sorrow every day.